Charity Samba is a Form 2 student at the Likoni School for the Visually Impaired. Having level one enabled innovation lab. Whenever she gets time, she comes to this computer lab to sharpen her computer skills. And although she is visually impaired, she was among six students who showed interest in coding. And after a few classes, they developed a basic website hosted within the institution. Kwa sasa nadiwa kutengeneza website. Now, for example, you may be assignment in class. I can come in the computer lab and Google it and finish my assignment. Learning computer skills in their state is challenging. To make it easier, those in charge have installed a software that translates into audio whatever is going on on the screen. Ten times nine. Nine zero. Way to go. Six minus four. This makes even learning mathematics interesting. Ten divided by two. Five. Keep it up. Four times two. Through internet, I can read the daily news if I wish. 156 pupils in primary school and 38 others in high school have benefited from the computer lab as well as some teachers who are visually impaired. The learners are always introduced into programming, computer programming, whereby their main objective is to come up with accessible web pages and also accessible mobile applications. So currently they have been able to come up with one of the most outstanding and impressive websites which has been done using HTML coding. Having this has changed some of the things in the institutions. You'll be surprised that uh, it has really managed time. The teachers have put gadgets to make sure that they access only what they are supposed to access. This facility was opened early in the year by Microsoft in partnership with Enable, a non-governmental organization. Uh, we run this program here because we want to uh, empower the blind and visually impaired and connect them to the rest of the world so that they're not just using Braille. So we bring in technology to comp uh, complement Braille. So, uh, being a technology company and mostly developing software, we've been, over time, uh, putting efforts to ensure our technologies already have accessibility, what you call accessibility features. They de develop, for example, for people who have visual disabilities, maybe people who are deaf and other 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 constraints for them to be used the technology. According to the National Council for Persons with Disabilities, 15% of the Kenyan population comprises people with disabilities, including blindness. The government is now trying to ensure this population is not left out in terms of new technology. What we are seeing today um, is fits in the wider government's uh, plan. In all the laptops we have given to schools or devices we have given to schools, we have considered all the special needs schools. So for these students here at the Likoni School for the Visually Impaired, learning is fun even as they try to shape their future. We can do it better than them. Charity Samba hopes to become a banker someday and believes the skills she is receiving now will go a long way. Peter Mungangi, NTV, Mombasa.